go back is like starting over. And here's the Today Show. And it's like I have a real big problem with starting over. Ah, well, how do you get over it and get on with it? This week, how to become the person you really want to be. We have a series called Personal Best, Getting What You Want. And we spoke with author of Quantum Leap Thinking for some tips, motivational analyst Jim Mapes. It's that time of year when everyone wants to make some sort of a change. I mean, New Year's resolutions, it's all about change. You, you say there are three kinds of change. Yeah, well, there's crisis change. It's thrust on us. Uh, we face our own mortality. We lose someone we love. The world changes. And there's evolutionary change. And you wait long enough, things are going to change. But that's not really being proactive. And then there's visionary change. And that's taking charge of change. And that's really creating a vision in your head of what you want and, and trying trying to then to, to realize that. Yes. Well, that is what New Year's is about. People want to quit smoking. They want to go back to school. They, they, they want to improve themselves in some way. What are the stages of going through change so that we don't give up? Because so many people say, I'm going to do this, and then halfway through they say, but it's too hard. And they should know part of the process. One is letting go. And that's a ver that's, you've got to be willing to let go of the past to move in the future. And two is where most people get stuck. It's called the dead zone. And there's stages is because once you start to change, it takes 30 days to start changing a habit. In the middle of it, you feel kind of ungrounded. You, you haven't really... The dead zone, made, that's a good name yeah, for it. the dead zone. You haven't made the change yet. So you have to let that be okay. And then the leap. And all of a sudden, it simply is. It's in, and then you move on to something mm -hmm. else. And what we want to get to is the leap, but we have to be aware that there's letting go and the dead zone. And you said in, in your book that inherent in any change is loss and sort of really understand that there's going to be loss when there's change or giving away something Always. else. Every change that you do, you have to give up something. And, you know, if you want this and that, well, you, uh, you can't always have it. And he's stuck in the middle forever. All right, so to make the leap, what can we do? What practically can we do? And how can we readjust our thinking to help ourselves make that leap, stick to our plan? Well, well first you have to understand what you're going to confront. So just put your hands together like this. Okay. Good. Now take them apart and move them over one digit and put them back together. Like that? Like that. So okay. how does that feel? It feels bizarre. It feels Good. unnatural and, and sort of uncomfortable. Bizarre, unnatural, uncomfortable. All change, it is, if it's significant to the person, that's what you're going to confront. So, Jim, what is it we do? What steps can we take to accomplish the change? First, you have to choose something. And I suggest you don't choose something monumental. This is kind of like a practice or a rehearsal. And then make sure that what you want to change aligns with your values. Mm. I mean, if, if your number one value is family, and you choose something, what, uh, if you choose to be on the road six days a week, you're going to develop much more of a conflict within yourself. And then you want to weigh the pros and cons. If the, if the negative outweighs the positive, don't do it. Break it down into small steps, because if we imagine a, a monumental change, our body reads that and our mind reads that as if it were real. So you want to, what are the action steps to get there? Baby steps. Baby steps. And then visualize it often, because that's part of what programs us in a, in a sense and develop a support group very important find people that want you to grow and support you to grow and lastly be very gentle with yourself because in change we take two steps forward often one step back that's just part of the process uncomfortable awkward strange all right and then one final thing in your book that i thought was really helpful about visualization you say that if you can create a vision for what it is that you want it's like a well you can go and dip back into anytime you need and you feel depleted just to keep that vision very clear really imagine it in grandiose detail i think that you should do it two three times a day i do for everything i want i see it as if it were already done it's like stretching a rubber band to the future and we just follow the tension and go Good Morning America's personal best series, Getting What You Want, is brought to you by Tropicana Pure Premium and by Total. In person, let's watch. As you can see, by following along with the literature that we sent you with your videotape, we're located right on Highway 441-27 a divided four-lane highway that takes you right into the resort attractions of Orlando, 45 miles to the south, and 30 miles to the north in the heart of horse country, Ocala. You won't be able to miss us because of our water tower. You can spot it from miles away. Our beautiful golf cart bridge spans the highway, and it, too, has become a local landmark. 
Our self-contained community consists of individual villages with controlled access security entrances. These villages surround our own commercial complex, complete with our La Hacienda Hotel, several restaurants, a 32-lane AMF bowling center designed to look just like the Alamo, fully staffed medical, dental, and banking